Hey YouTubers, it's your buddy Platt. And today I'm going to be trying the hottest product on the market right now. But before we get to that, I do want to apologize for not posting a how-to this last week. I'm switching shifts at work, so I'm probably going to be changing my posting schedule from Monday, Thursday to probably Monday, Friday. So just apologize about that, but there's more content coming and we're, we're switching to a different schedule. Now back to the product at hand. This is the Not Your Father's Root Beer probably heard a lot about this product I've seen a lot of reviews and we finally have it out here in the Las Vegas market so I wanted to give it a try it's from small town brewery in La Crosse Wisconsin and this particular one is 5.9 percent alcohol but they also do a version 10.7 percent alcohol and I believe if you live in the Illinois market they even have it on tap and what this is is a hard root beer which kind of like hard cider alcoholic compared to your non-alcoholic traditional root beers or your non-alcoholic ciders. So I'm excited to check this out. Let's give her a try. Alright. A little bit of carbonation, not the classic kind of foamy head of like a AW style root beer, but uh, Seems plain carbonate. Let's give her a try. Oh, that's good. Oh, 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 I need some vanilla ice cream in that right now. Oh, that is top notch. Yeah, you really don't pick up any of the alcohol. Definitely no yeast aftertaste. Um, that just tastes like top notch root beer, which at 5.9% alcohol, Probably makes this a little dangerous. And I can only imagine what the 10.7 would, would do to you. This is good stuff. Um, just tastes like really good root beer. Um, the possibilities are limitless, I can tell. Probably a little vanilla vodka in there. Like so definitely a root beer float. This would be top notch. Maybe a little Bailey's in there. Who knows? But uh, I can see what all the hype's about. Now, personally, I don't know if I could drink a ton of these. A friend and I were kind of talking about the concept. I like root beer, but I don't sit there and knock them back all day. I may be moved for one or two. Where, if this was a, say, a box-style beer, just any kind of other beer, you could definitely have two, three, four of them, no problem. But overall, this is really nice. Let me take another sip. Mm. Now today what I want to talk to you about is something that I guess if I was telling someone new to the bartending business about, I would say probably the hardest skill to learn. And I know bartenders have been in the business 20 something years and I can tell they still haven't learned this particular skill. Tougher than learning how to make cocktails or pouring beers, you can almost train a monkey to pour beers. But one thing that's hard to train as far as bartenders goes is when to cut someone off. Now. It's a little different depending on the situation. You work at a local bar or some kind of chain restaurant in the strip center. It becomes a little easier in the fact that you know people are driving, come, coming to and from there, and you need to get proactive on that. Um, like my situation in a casino or if you work for a resort hotel and you know people are staying there, then the line kind of gets gray because, you know, 100 feet away, there's an elevator taken to the room. You know they're you're most likely going to get safe and in bed. So you kind of get a little lax on that. You're like, well, I can give them another drink. Well, one more. They're about to leave, I'm sure. But you still need to cut people off. Um, the reality is you have a responsibility thrust on you um, legally more importantly than anything else, that you got to make sure that guest does not just get totally whacked out of their brain. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people, so again, especially in the casino hotel situation, are like, well, they keep saying they're going to go, I'll just give them the one more there. You, If I could teach young bartenders anything, is actually you need to be more proactive in, than you do less kind of hope. You know, you could do the trick of throwing a water up there, giving them a Coke, maybe throwing some bar nets up there. And those are all very helpful. But be proactive in cutting them off. Don't be 
scared. It's your job. You legally have the right. Don't. Even if your manager tries to tell you some story, nearly every state in the union will tell you that the bartender or the server themselves has the right to cut off. Um, it's better to cut off early than late. And if you tell them right and talk, and basically tell them, I'm saving you from a rough morning, most of the time they'll appreciate it. And if not, that's fine. You're, that's the one time you're really not worried about what the guest thinks or says or the comment to the home office or whatever. So I advise bartenders learn quickly, be firm, and be proactive in cutting people off. Well, since I'm at home, I don't have to worry about being cut off. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please subscribe down below. Please feel free to leave comments. Always feel free to contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.